In this video we're going to add like terms and then solve and we'll do uh, page two of, of these ty this type and uh, we'll look at these four examples okay and um, we'll have some fractions going so write this down a half a minus one third a equals negative negative two a half a minus the third a equals negative negative two okay so what we've got to do is simplify both sides and then solve okay or add like terms and then solve so on the left you have a half of an apple minus a third of an apple how much of an apple is left if, if that happens right if it's a half of an apple minus one-third of an apple so what we've got to do is figure out one-half minus one-third right and I think a lot of you guys like to do the fractions one above the other and that's fine a half minus a third and we've got to come up with a lowest common denominator because we want to get a half of an apple minus a third of an apple right so what's the lowest common denominator in other words what am I going to multiply by on the top and bottom of each fraction to make the bottoms the same? Right. The lowest common denominator of th 2 and 3. So you obviously one way is to list the, the multiples. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8. You've got 3, 6, 9, 12. And the first number that appears in each set of multiples is 6. right? So the lowest common multiple of two and three is six. So you can you gotta get six on the bottom for both of the fractions, right? Right? So two times what gives six? Two times three. So you gotta multiply this guy by three over three. And that gives you three sixths. And you got to multiply this by guy by what? Three times what gives six? Three times two. And you multiply top by two as well. So one times two is two. So it's three sixths subtract two sixths. How many sixths is that? That gives one sixth. Okay. And so it's one sixth. And so one half of an apple minus one third of an apple is one sixth of an apple. Do you agree with that? See, we're adding like terms. We're a's, right? Half an apple take away a third is a sixth. So a sixth of an apple equals negative negative two. Now, can you simplify negative negative two? Do you remember how to do that? The opposite of an opposite. Remember we talked about taking away a debt of two. If debt of two is taken away, that's a good thing. Okay, that's like giving you two dollars. Or if you're not um, invisible, that's two negatives. See that? Not invisible means visible, right? Anyway, two negatives makes a positive uh, in front of each other like that. Negative negative two makes plus plus. So it's positive two. and to get a by itself what do we do it's a sixth times a to get a by itself we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal and the reciprocal is just the same fraction upside down so what's one sixth upside down it's just six over one, right? If I multiply that side by six over one, I must multiply this side by six, or six over one. Same thing. You can just leave it as six or six over one because the same thing either way, right? But we're doing the same thing to both sides. And when you do that to the left, the sixes cross cancel, don't they? And you get one times one over one times one, which is just one, one a, one apple, right? or a equals what's two times six or two times six over one it is twelve so the answer is a equals twelve right 
Okay, write this one down and see if you can do it yourself. 3 quarters b minus 1 eighth b equals 1 minus negative 10. Write it down, see if you can do it yourself. 3 quarters of a banana minus an eighth of a banana equals 1 minus negative 10. So what we've got to do here is subtract fractions. Right. So I guess I could just do it to one side of the page. But what I've got to do is I've got to take 3 quarters and I've got to subtract 1 eighth. Right. Now the problem is we've got to have a lowest common denominator. Right. So what is the lowest common denominator for quarters and eighths? Well, if you what, what would you multiply 4 by to get 8? 4 times what gives 8? 4 times 2, right? Now if you multiply bottom by 2, you must multiply the top by 2. So I can change this guy to 8, right? 4 times 2 is 8, and at the top 3 times 2 is 6. So we've got 6 8 and then here we've got 1 8. So 6 8 minus 1 8 gives how many 8 6 eighths minus 1 eighth is 5 eighths. So 3 quarters of a banana minus an eighth of a banana, if you go 3 quarters minus an eighth, you get 5 eighths. Okay, so we got 5 eighths of a banana equals. And on this side, it's 1 minus negative 10. How do you deal with minus negative? Negative, negative, you can change that to what? Plus, plus. You have a dollar. You cancel a bill of ten dollars, now you have eleven dollars. Right? And how will we deal with this? It's five eighths B equals eleven. Five eighths of a banana equals eleven. What we want is one banana equals something. So how do I change five eighths into one? That's really what we're trying to do, right? You've got to multiply by what? You've got to multiply that guy by the reciprocal, which is the same fraction upside down. Okay? So take the same fraction, flip it upside down, and if you multiply by that, then this thing will turn into 1. You can think of it this way. It's, it's 8 times 5 is 40, and on the bottom 5 times 8 is 40, and 40 over 40 is 1. Or you can cross cancel. 8 and 8 goes once, 5 and 5 goes once. See? 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 is 1. So that will give us the 1b. Now if I multiply that side by 8 fifths, what do I do to the other side? Got to also multiply it by 8 fifths. Okay. So 11 times 8 fifths is the same thing as 11 over 1 times 8 fifths. And multiply the tops and then multiply the bottoms and what do you get? 11 times 8 88 over 5. So as an improper fraction we have b equals 88 over 5 or we could also write it as a mixed number 5 into 8 goes 1 time and 3 over. 5 into 38 goes 7 times remainder 3 so 17 and 3 fifths or 88 over 5 same thing. Anyway Let's try this one. Negative 1 times negative 14 equals 1 fifth a plus 7 tenths a minus a half a. Write it down. By all means, press pause and try it yourself and then check the video to see if you got it right. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. Uh, I'll go over it now with you. So, what we've got to do on the right is we've got to add like terms. We have a fifth a plus seven tenths a minus a half a. Okay, So we've got to add like terms. A fifth of an apple plus seven tenths of an apple is minus a half an apple. We've got to add a fifth plus seven tenths um, and then subtract a half. Well why don't we do why not just do this part first, right? Add a fifth plus seven tenths. So we've got to get a common denominator So what's a common denominator between 5 fifths and tenths? What's the lowest common multiple of 5 and 10? 
Five times what gives ten? Tell me. Five times two, and multiply the top by two also, right? So one times two is two. Five times two is ten. We've got two tenths plus seven tenths, which is two tenths and seven tenths, nine tenths, right? Don't forget, we also need we still need to subtract one half. Okay, so we've got to take the nine tenths, subtract a half. Right now, we've got to get a lowest common denominator here, right? So tell me, two times what gives ten? Two times what gives ten? Two times five. So multiply this guy by five over five, right? And one times five is five. Two times five is ten. So one half becomes five tenths, and of course it's negative. We're subtracting five tenths, so we have nine tenths. Subtract five tenths, which is four tenths, right? Now tell me, can you put that in lowest terms? Okay, so to put this in lowest terms, two into four goes twice. Two into ten goes five times. So we get two over five, two fifths. Okay. So in any case, if we add the fifth, the seven tenths, and then subtract the half, we get two fifths. Right? Two fifths of an apple. Two fifths A. Right? So two fifths A on the right. And what do we get on the left? It's negative one times negative fourteen. What does that give you? Two fifths A on the right and on the left. Negative 1 times negative 14 is positive 14. Okay. Now, to get a by itself, or in no other words, to get 1a, we want 1a, right? How do we get 1a? So, in other words, how do we kind of transform that 2 fifths into the number 1? Because I want to know what's the value of a, the value of 1a. So what do I multiply this guy by to get 1? 2 fifths times what gives me 1? The reciprocal of 2 fifths is what? It's the same fraction flipped upside down, which is 5 over 2. Now if I multiply that one by 5 over 2, I must multiply this one also by 5 over 2. Okay. So if you, you can see on the right hand side, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 5 is 10, that's 10 over 10a or 1a. Or you can think of it this way, the 5's cross cancel, the 2's cross cancel, right? And you're left with 1a. On the left hand side, this is 14 over 1. Now, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 14 goes 7 times. So I have 7 times 5, which is 30. Five. So I have 35 equals 1a, or simply a equals 35. Okay. Now, write this one down, press pause, do the whole thing yourself. 2 thirds x plus 1 sixth x minus a quarter x equals 7. Pre write the whole thing down, press pause, do it all yourself. Okay, I hope you tried it, I'm going to go over it now. So we're going to add. To get how, how many x's that is altogether, we've got to add like terms. So we've got to add those fractions. Okay. So we're going to take the two thirds and add it to one sixth. Okay. Now, the lowest common denominator is to get that. We've got to do what? So I hope you press pause and try this. Now I'm just going to go over the answer. Three times two gives six. Right. So we've got to multiply this one by two over two to get four sixths. So 4 sixths plus 1 sixth is 5 sixths. Okay? And now I've got to subtract a quarter. So 5 sixths minus a quarter. Right? 5 sixths minus a quarter. What's the lowest common denominator? If I look at sixes, I've, sixes give me 6, 12, 18, and look at multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16. So multiple, the lowest common multiple is 12. It's the first multiple that appears in each list, right? 
So we've got to turn both bottoms into twelfths. Okay. So six times what gives twelve? Four times what gives twelve, right? Six times what gives twelve? Six times two. And on the top, we've got to multiply that by two as well. So this five sixths gets transformed to be ten twelfths. And down here, four times what gives twelve? Four times three. And we also need to multiply the top by three. So 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 3 is 3, and this is, we're subtracting here, right? So what's the answer? 10 twelfths minus 3 twelfths is 7 twelfths, right? 7 twelfths. So here we end up with 7 twelfths x equals 7. So if you haven't done so yet, Go ahead and solve solve it from here. Press pause and solve it from here. Okay, I'll do it now. We've got to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. What's the reciprocal of 7 twelfths? Reciprocal is the same fraction only flipped upside down, which is 12 sevenths. And the same on this side. Multiply that one by the same thing. 12 7. So you do the same thing to both sides. And you can cross cancel. 12 into 12 goes once here and here. 7 into 7 goes once here and here. And that gives you 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 or 1x. 1x is which is what we want. We want 1x. Right? And on the right hand side that's 7 over 1 times 12 over 7. Which is 84 over 7 which turns out to be 12 but we could just do this. 7 into 7 goes once, 7 into 7 goes once. That's 1 times 12 over 1, which is 12. So you have 1x equals 12, or just x equals 12. Okay?